how to make a parametric eye beam glass canopy with spider fittings. Let's start. Let's open the spider fittings pattern template. Okay. Next. Let's save first the file. Save us. Save the family. Go to the desktop and name it iBeam iBeam Spider Fittings. Save. Okay, next we need to make a iBeam profile. Let's create a new family. Go to metric. Select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Okay. Select the units. Okay. Select reference point. Select draw on work plane. Pick at center point. Cancel the command. Select the reference point. Make adaptive. Next. Set work plane. Set this vertical work plane. Okay. Select this one. Select the rectangle. Draw a rectangle above reference point. Okay. Align or AL. Select this reference plane. Select this line. Lock. Okay. Dimension or DI. Select this line. This reference plane. And this line. Okay, make it equal. Select this line and this line. Okay, cancel the command. Select the dimension. Let's create a parameter. Let's name it plunge width. Okay, next. DI dimension select this reference plane select this line okay cancel the command select this dimension create a new parameter uh, let's name it beam depth okay Next, um, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle above the reference point inside the rectangle, okay, DI, pick this line and this line, okay, cancel the command, select the dimension, create a new parameter let's name it plunge thickness okay next dimension di select this reference plane and this line pick Cancel the command, select the dimension, and select the plunge thickness. Okay. Next. 
dimension pick this line pick this reference plane and this line okay make it equal next select this line and this line okay cancel the command select the dimension let's create a parameter let's name it uh, web thickness okay next uh, slice or sl slice this line and this line okay next trim or tr select this line and this line select this line and this line this line and this line and this line and this line okay next type sn or slice okay trim tr trim this line trim this line this line and this line this line and this line okay so we have the I beam profile let's go to family types let's change some of the parameter let's make this 20 the web thickness okay next we need to align select a line pick this line and this line lock this line and this line lock okay go back to family types let's change the uh, beam depth to 300 apply okay very good next let's change the scale to 1 is to 10 okay so we can read the parameter go back to family type change the plunge thickness to 16 okay okay we need to align this plunge thickness pick this line and this line lock pick this line and this line lock go back to family types uh, la plunge width let's change it to 150 millimeter okay very good next plunge thickness let's make it 20 okay good the web thickness 12 millimeter okay very good uh, beam depth 500 okay good let's go back to 300 okay next uh, uncheck shared and check always vertical let's save the family okay let's name it adaptive i-beam profile save okay load into the project and close select check the i-beam spider fitting okay okay pick here okay next let's go to family types let's change the height temporarily to 500 apply okay select the i-beam profile pick new host pick at this reference point okay go to generic model insert again the i-beam profile 
okay pick here and pick here and one here okay select the profile select these two profile uncheck visible create a form okay next select the two remaining ibeam profile uncheck visible create a form okay next select the two ibeam let's pick the motor at the material let's create a new parameter let's name it ibeam finish okay next select uh, we need to select the profile the ibeam profile only go to edit type we need to map some of the parameters for the beam depth let's create a new parameter name it beam depth also okay okay plunge thickness pick the button create a new parameter plunge thickness okay next plunge width select the button create a new parameter name it plunge width okay okay web thickness create new parameter name it web thickness okay 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 now let's check the parameters let's go to family types let's move this okay go back to family types let's try to change the height uh, let's make a formula it equals to beam depth plus uh, 50 millimeter apply okay so the spider fittings sits above the i-beam okay let's change the beam depth to 500 okay very good let's go back to 200 apply okay next uh, Launch width, let's make it uh, 50. Now let's go to launch thickness, let's make it 16 millimeter. Okay. Uh, beam depth, make it 300. Okay. Okay, I beam finish. Let's change the finish for the I beam. Okay, so select a white color. Okay, let's go to the library. I'll check my library. I'll look for something white this paint mill guard white okay 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 let's check make sure it's white okay okay next S select the i beam check the materials okay very good uh, let's save the file Okay. Now load into project and close.
ok now let's go to 3d view select this sample project ok let's create a show mask on select the mask delete let's create a new one go to label one ok let's create a mask go to masking and site in place mask mask one select a rectangle ok draw a rectangle where the canopy sits ok pick let's pick somewhere here let's go to 3d select the rectangle create a form move the surface ok up to this level ok next select this edge let's move it up a little bit so it has a slope ok next select the surface divide the surface change the U grid number to 3 ok let's change the V grid number to 4 ok select the pattern select the pattern we did uh, the I-beam spider fitting select ok very good next control tab to select the panel let's change the some parameters let's make the beam depth to point 0.2 the plunge with 2.10 apply ok very good next go to perspective finish the mass ok go to massing and sight turn off show mass ok now you have a parametric I-beam with spider fittings thank you